Hey, in this video, we're gonna do something I consider is pretty fun. We're gonna make a photo gallery and we're gonna use the glide tag to manipulate images, resize them, crop, add filters, and kind of show you what's possible with Statomic. Now, glide is a tag uh, that you pass a variable in that references an image or an asset. Now, if you haven't watched the video on assets, you should go do that and come on back. Uh, Glide, just in case you're curious, is a library from uh, the PHP League that has a whole bunch of cool uh, capabilities, and we've wrapped that, pulled it into Statomic, made it really easy for you to use, and uh, that's basically it. So let's get into it. What I have going right now is a template that pulls a container full of assets that I downloaded from unsplash.com, and it's just looping through them at full size. So these photos are two or three megabytes, they're big, uh, it's a really heavy page load. So we're gonna wanna make thumbnail versions or smaller versions of these photos, list them out, maybe link to a full size version of the photo, and we'll get creative and throw some filters in there. So in the template, let's just remove that header. You can see, again, as I just explained, we're looping through a container called subjects and uh, just spitting the URL out. Now, glide is a tag, which means inside the curly braces, you're gonna start with the word glide. And then after the colon, you just give it the name of a variable that has a URL, like an image URL. So if I if all I do is that, uh, before, before I refresh this page, let's just look at the inspector. And all right, so I, it, network wasn't downloaded. Uh, you can see each of these files is located in the subjects directory and the file name. Once we pass this to Glide, refresh, Statomic is going to be doing the rendering. And the reason why is because we've got this dynamic route. Uh, we need to manipulate the images and they may change the manipulations you're applying, like the size, the width, uh, filter quality, and stuff we'll get into in a second might be different. So we have this unique URL that uh, references a secure ID that lists uh, the parameters and the manip manipulations. So with that being said, it may sound confusing, but it's gonna make sense in a second. We can start adding some manipulations. We can start modifying this image. And we'll start with, uh, let's just give it a uniform height. So we'll set everything to 600 and like for retina friendly, we'll split, cut that in half um, on the HTML side. Cool, so we've got this grid. Uh, we can add some margin. Got a nice grid of photos. And uh, we can come back and set a width as well. Set that to 600, or yep. Set this to 300, just half the size. And so now we have a uniform tiling of these photos. Now, once you've manipulated uh, the height and width, once you've transformed that, you've gotten into cropping. So before we did that, the same image ratios were being respected. It's just shrinking it down to meet one of those dimensions. Once you manipulate both the height and the width, you're cropping. And what happens when you crop is, who knows where you should crop, right? So this particular photo, for example, is every photo, in fact, is being cropped in the center of the photo and the subject of this photo is missing. So we'll look at the, uh, the asset browser in the control panel and we'll open this up. So there's a woman on this dune and Statomic has this cool feature called focal point. So if we set the focal point to be on the woman, select that, save it, come back, and just to make sure the cache refreshes, I'll open uh, the inspector. Now the image is cropped to make sure that that focal point is in the photo. And we can do that with every one of these images. Like here's a, sur a snowboarder or surfer. He's not a surfer, he's a snow surfer, right? That's a thing. Um, we can come find that guy, set the focal point, make sure he's kind of smack in the center. And let's make sure we're focused on Left Shark instead of Katy Perry. The important things, right? Refresh. And there we go, Left Shark snowboarder and we're in pretty good shape here now that we have a pretty good looking photo gallery let's get fancy let's add some filters and effects if we go over to the glide docs down here at the bottom you can see a list of effects that glide supports you can blur the photo you can add brightness contrast you can manipulate the gamma you can pixelate it you can add some filters i'll just grab a couple of these and we'll try them on for size and see what it looks like first we'll start with pixelate pixel 8 and we'll set that a value of 25. 
That's pixely. It's 1998 up in here. We can do filter grayscale. I almost typed grayscale. Kind of stuck in the 80s over here. Uh, we can do blur. We can give it a blur of 25. Maybe you want to blur a photo out, uh, darken it at an overlay, and set it as a background image for a hero. You can totally do that. Um, and your clients won't have to manipulate those images or send them to you ahead of time or anything like that. We also support uh, filter sepia in case, you know, you have like those Wild West photos. Or perhaps you want to do that modern desaturated look. So we can increase the brightness by 50 and manipulate the contrast by minus 25. See what that looks like. Yeah, to kind of that washed out look. So filters, really powerful. Next, let's take a look at some settings that can fine tune your asset and manipulation process. So over in the control panel, we go down to settings and to assets, and I'll walk you through a few things. First would be the image manipulation driver. By default, PHP, like 99% of the time is compiled with the GD library, which is old, but totally works. However, most of the time we have access to Image Magic now. So if you can change to Image Magic, do. It's a little bit better on performance. It can handle larger photos better, and it's just all around a better, more modern, more updated solution. So you should switch that if you can. Next, uh, you may have noticed some of the photos loading one at a time. So each request is being queued by Statomic and processed in order. If you want to cache them ahead of time, check this. And by doing that, uh, you can generate all of the photos that need to be cached uh, ahead of time with the command line or by hitting a page after you flick the setting on. So if we do that, come back to the site, uh, we'll go over here, refresh the page. You should see like all of them hit all at once once they're generated. And that can take a few seconds. Let's just make sure that cache is cleared. Totally not working. Maybe I don't have <laughs> image magic locally. Yeah, look at that. I don't have image magic. Good job, Jack. All right, so all of these photos were pre-generated this time. And if you look at this file name, it is a static file name versus a query string. And that file exists uh, on, your, on your file system inside the local directory. And now on refresh, none of these images are going to be uh, incurring another server side hit. So another good trick. Lastly, image manipulation presets. Now, looking at the docs here, we have our own syntax for blur, brightness, contrast for all these parameters. You're gonna need to use the glide docs for this and there's a link to the Glide APA docs right here. They have this shorthand for all of the different filters and stuff. I don't, we don't really like the shorthand because it's not clear. Always prefer to have a more uh, long form but readable uh, you know, syntax for our settings and whatnot. But uh, if you wanna use these, you can create presets. So we can say maybe create a thumbnail preset where the width is uh, 600, the height is 600, the filter, which is filt, is grayscale, and let's say the we add a blur, which is blur, all right, that one's short enough to get four characters, blur of 25. So we save that come back to our template, and instead of passing these in explicitly, we do preset thumbnail. Now you can use this code everywhere throughout your site. And if we're lucky, let's just turn this off. If we're lucky and I did it right, yep, look at that. Ta-da. Now what, what gallery would be complete without a full-size image, right? So. We'll, just do this, link to the full size image, and let's be honest, that's ugly. Width, 600, height, 600. You're just watching me code, hope you don't mind. Look at that, boom, boom, 
Boom. Gallery. Pretty easy, right?